Hi, I'm Scott Miller. Welcome to the exhibition, Parasites, Life Undercover. Today we'll take a look into the fascinating, highly adapted lives of parasites to give you a preview of what you can see at the exhibition. This exhibition has been sponsored by Bayer Healthcare, a leading provider of advanced treatments designed to protect our pets against today's and tomorrow's parasites, keeping both your family and their best friends happy and healthy. As a full-time small animal vet, I see lots of dogs, cats and even ferrets with parasites, but nothing really prepares you for the incredible diversity and clever adaptions that allow parasites to live their undercover lives. Today we'll explore some highlights and share some fascinating facts with you. So are you ready for your tour? The tiny cat flea has a massive ability to leap. Did you know that a cat flea can jump 50 centimetres? And some fleas can jump 150 times their own length. That's like a human jumping 300 metres. One flea was even recorded doing a 1.2 metre vertical jump. Just imagine a human jumping nearly a kilometre into the air. Not only is it a master at the art of jumping, but the flea bites are also capable of making life uncomfortable and can carry diseases for both the animal and their human owners. <coughs> Probably one of the best known of all parasites and nothing to do with Count Dracula is the common vampire bat. Living in South America, this fearsome creature feeds off the blood of sleeping mammals, including humans. These amazing mammals have specialised sensors in their noses that lets them sense heat. These thermoreceptors help them to locate areas where the blood flows, close to the skin of its prey. And did you know that if they can't find a prey animal to feed off, they'll feed off each other. The tapeworm has evolved into the ultimate parasite. Once it's anchored into the walls of its host's intestines, the tapeworm absorbs nutrients through its skin as the food being digested by the host flows past it. The tapeworm grows a long tail, sometimes up to an incredible 30 metres. That's over half the length of an Olympic swimming pool. Now tapeworms are hermaphrodites. That means that they can reproduce even if they're all alone. The tail of the tapeworm is made up of lots of segments, each containing an independent digestive system and reproductive system capable of self-fertilisation. These segments drop off one by one as the tapeworm grows, carrying masses of eggs onto the next host. Did you know that the tapeworm can produce many hundreds of eggs, all of which increases the parasite's chances of survival? Well, I hope that this short visit provides you with an exciting taste of the Parasites Life Undercover exhibition. If you want to find out more, take a look at some of the other short parasite exhibition videos on the website. These videos explain how climate change is affecting parasites in our pets, the threat of urban parasites, and gives you an in-depth look at cats, their nasty little housemates, and more. <laughs>